Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Everything you need to make your house and yard or place of business uh, look good. And also be prepared for adverse weather in case we get a tropical storm or a hurricane. Got some localized flash flooding going on uh, today. So if your pumps aren't working, you're going to have a problem. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri-state area. The telephone number is 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we have this uh, weather system moving through the northeast, and you can see the clouds uh, going from the lakes uh, around into the northeast and then curling back down across the southeast and Gulf states. There's quite a bit of tropical moisture here that we're looking at, uh, and we've had some rain and also some localized uh, flash flooding. If, uh, you take a look at the radar. Now, this is as of 11.15 a.m. Eastern time. So I've, if you're looking at this, Later on today, you can check your local radars uh, and what's going on in terms of any kind of severe weather by uh, going to your local National Weather Service Office forecast page, weather.gov, to access that. And you can see a couple of these green boxes that are popping up in northern New Jersey. So there have been some localized heavy downpours and and flash flooding. Some places obviously getting more than others. It's always the case in this type of situation that uh, some areas will outperform in terms of rainfall and some will underperform. Uh, So it'll depend on what the radar does this afternoon. The Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather today, reaching from uh, the lower Hudson Valley to about New York City, across New Jersey and Pennsylvania, down southward into the Carolinas. Uh, Also, you see the uh, streak of uh, showers and storms uh, across the Gulf states. And we've got a marginal risk from central to east Texas and into Louisiana Uh, as well. And uh, over the next couple of days, at least we're going to see this calm down a bit. Just uh, the chance maybe of some general thunderstorm activity for Tuesday uh, and for uh, Wednesday. Uh, Actually, no thunderstorms are being indicated for uh, the southern uh, parts of southern New England, much of upstate New York, down into the northern mid-Atlantic states and west across the Ohio and middle Mississippi Valley. Thunderstorms going on on either side, but not not in that zone. Meanwhile, as far as rainfall is concerned, so this is on top of whatever fell overnight, anywhere from a half an inch to a, an additional half an inch to an inch. However, be advised that if there are some of these convective uh, bursts that develop uh, on the radar, that you could see uh, amounts double that. Uh, in a very short period of time. So we'll be keeping our eyes on the radar uh, with regards to this. And as far as excessive rainfall is concerned, uh, the Weather Prediction Center does have a slight risk for flash flooding. So that translates into a uh, at least 15% chance of fl- potential for flash flooding uh, in uh, the northern half of New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and into southeastern parts of Massachusetts. The marginal risk goes further north and south on either side of that. And not that you want flash flooding, but a lot of these areas are so lacking in rainfall. We have extreme drought conditions in parts of southeastern New England. Uh, Other areas moderate to excessive uh, drought uh, being uh, reported. So, uh, you know, rain is rain, and we certainly could use it. And the uh, outlook for the rest of today is going to be that we're going to see some showery rains and a few embedded uh, thunderstorms in the mix. So we'll give you a quick run here of the GFS. Uh, Temperatures, by the way, today are going to have a tough time getting out of the 70s. There'll be a few places that will make it up to around 80. That could be enough to trigger off some flash flooding. You can see the showery rains being indicated on the radar by the GFS this afternoon. They kind of wind down this evening, and then they pick up again tomorrow, but more inland tomorrow than any place else. And then the rest of the week looks rain-free, very warm to hot and humid starting Wednesday and taking us right through Friday with just the minimal chance that there could be a shower or storm. And then headed into the weekend, we've got a little weak front coming through Friday night. 
uh, makes the flow a little more onshoreish on Saturday. I don't know how much of it is going to cool us, cool it down. Uh, certainly not going to see much of a break as far as the uh, humidity is concerned. Uh, I just want to also just really quick touch on the tropics, which we all know have been uh, quiet, uh, but the models are picking up on more tropical wave activity later this week and going through next weekend and into next week and starting to show some development of tropical systems out there uh, in the Atlantic. So uh, I think we're getting now to the point where it, it wasn't going to stay quiet like this forever. We were eventually going to get uh, into uh, some uh, tropical activity. So that's down the road and something to think about. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we'll be watching the radars as we go through the day. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at uh, 7.30 Eastern Time. We'll go over what's happened and what is currently happening and what maybe will be happening. That's tonight at 7.30 Eastern.